What's up you guys, Pitbull Torres here at the Rare Breed Life HQ. Got the Rare Breed Life squad right here, my boy Jalen. Introduce yourself, Jalen. Yeah, Jalen Hargis, man, from uh, the Juice, OC mm -hmm. California. Uh, Played for the Atlanta Falcons, just graduated out there this year, man, ready to get this work. Yes, sir. Red? Introduce yourself, man. Uh, talk, uh, <laughs> Fresno mm -hmm. State, safety, uh, Juice Town. I'm Jojo Hawkins from Orange County, I go to Christian University. Nick Needham from Orange County, I play for the Dolphins, play corner. Is there so I've known Jalen for a long time, like man, since he was a little boy. Even JoJo, he didn't even know me. I remember his uh, uh, Aaron be showing me videos of him playing flag football and stuff. And I got my own gym. They've been coming through, working out. I've been wanting to help him out with some explosive training, like powerlifting training I do. So today we're gonna do a little bit of that and show you guys how I'm gonna help him out. So we're just gonna go through a little dynamic warm up. Everybody in here is high level athletes, so these are just basic warm ups to do um, to warm the body up. And uh, not a static stretch, that's you know how you get injuries and stuff like that. We just want to warm the body up, get it movement, moving. So the first thing we're gonna do is just toe kicks. Every third step. We'll go down and back, down and back. Second one, we got our call these grab grass. Okay, first one, we want to get down there. Second one, we really want to reach through and grab that grass, stretch those hamstrings out. Put that thing out, move. Hammy's <laughs> right. Third one, I like to call these world's greatest stretch. Since we got box squats, we're gonna open the hips up today. Okay, so we're gonna reach through, Spider-Man, open up towards the knee, okay? Every step, every step, lunge. Try to get that heel to the, uh, or the elbow to the heel. Yeah, I'm 
so tight. Yeah. 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 I love that. I Guy, man, just high knees, just as many reps as possible, there and back. Okay, just warming that body up, getting hip flexors right. All right. Do it. All right, guys, just doing a quick little voiceover. We had the music bumping, so got to talk here a little bit. This is Nick Needham warming up his back, using the band, pulling with the scapula. All right, now, so Dan's right here with two plates right now. We got box squats. You can tell him he's getting that real control, getting a soft tap on the box. He's working on a speed. I'm super big on speed. Anything I do when it's bench press, squat, or deadlift, always want to move the weight as fast as possible with the most control. So on these uh, box squats, you're showing the range of motion just a little bit. So make sure you're really focused on the eccentric, meaning the way down. And then when you explode, always move weight as fast as possible. What I think is like when I'm squatting, I don't even think about pushing up on my legs because the legs are they're underneath, they're underneath load. You're automatically gonna want to push up. One thing you can think about is your back. When the weight starts getting heavy, this is one of the things that happen. You know what I'm saying? Your legs fire, but not your back. You want your hips and your back to fire at the same time. So watch when I go down, my hips go down, and when I come up, my chest will open my hips. Not this way. So two motion lifts. So as soon as you sit down on the block control, I just think you come up with my chest like a foot. All right, guys, we got Red right here. He worked up to 365 on a box squat. It was all about moving the weight quick today. I wasn't trying to have a max out, just moving that weight quick. This is Mookie's top set, 365. I believe he got all four reps right here. Mookie's wide, wide stance squats are very hard on him, especially for his knees. They always want to go in. So I think he only started at like two plates and now he's already up at three plates and a 25. So 365 for four for Mookie. warm-ups this 505 on the bar always focusing on moving the weight as fast as possible so what I was telling the guys when we were working out to be explosive you got to always move the weight as fast as possible with control up to 365 for top set of three today we're working about just moving the weight quick so we're not looking to max them out we're trying to find a way that he can control and still move very fast so 315 is the back down set he's gonna get four reps right here ready Jalen let's go Jay. You turn it up. Ready? 
Yeah, it's not the same thing. You're gonna focus on it. Bro, get down, right. get down. Get all the way down to control it. You feel like you're not gonna go back up. Trust yourself. And you're doing very good with bringing your chest up. Alright, this is Jojo doing box squats. Worked up to two plates, is worried about moving the weight as fast as possible. He had 275, but two plates was he able to move it a lot quicker. This was my final last warm up. I believe I got 595 on the bar. My top set was 645. This thing felt heavy. I was feeling good though, feeling good. See how fast it moves. Yup, got some good speed out of that one. This is Nate's top set, I think, 455. I know he wanted to hit more. I think he said he wanted to hit 475, 485. So I actually think I think this is a warm up for Nate. Now Kelly, we're using a 55 pound bar, so I believe this is like 275. She was working just sets of four. This chick's a beast. Stay tuned. I think you guys are looking at the new first girl rare breed athlete right here. We got Jalen Hawkins working 315 on the box squat. Just worried about moving that way as fast as possible. Really controlling it on the way down. Soft tap on the box, exploding up. red these are their back down sets so after they worked up to 365 they went back down to 315 and hit three sets of four just worried about moving the weight with speed there you go red's um safety at fresno state make sure you guys watch this kid it's gonna be a beast nice speed red was having fun look at him This is Nate's top set. He's got 475. Four, yeah, I think 475 on the bar. Let's see what he does. Ooh, you can tell he lost a little bit of tightness on that second one. I was telling Nate that he hit the hit the box too tight. You gotta really focus on sitting on that box very slow or else you'll lose all your tightness. Nate fell that rep because he went too fast on the box. He lost tightness all in his core, so you gotta stay tight. Alright guys, my top set right here, I got 645. I failed this last week for one rep, I got three reps, I gotta get four. I went a little too fast on the last one, so I know I'm just gonna trust my technique and get all four reps in this one. Trust that shit, dude, let's go. Alright, here's my top set, 645 for four top, one top set of four. Like I said previously, I failed this last week, so 
I was really eager to get those four reps. But man, as soon as I started walking out, I felt, I felt very heavy. First one moving good. Second one moving good. Third one got a little loose. Honestly, I thought they helped me on this fourth one, but looking at the video, they didn't help me. Now we moved on to incline bench. I like focusing a lot on incline for my football athletes because normally when you guys are pushing, you're pushing more upright instead of straight. Um, to me, it's just a lot more functional strength than, it, a, tr than a traditional bench press. So I was showing them the technique on the incline bench, just learning how to retract their scapula, dropping the bar more higher on their chest, like more close to their collarbone. Red just warming up. You can see I'm having him drop it higher on his chest and I'm giving him a target with my hand to press more towards his head. Right there, that was a good one. A lot of people like pressing away from their body, but you want to press towards your head on the way up, even for a flat bench, but more on the incline. Always want to make sure you're using light weight that you can control, especially when you're learning a new movement. We weren't Mac trying to max out these boys today, we're just trying to help them out, learning the fundamentals of the technique so they don't get hurt. Now we go to uh, feet up bench press, just really working on all upper body strength. This is Nate with two plates, just warming up. This is my top set, 355 for three sets of six feet up bench press like I said so you're using no legs just pure upper body strength I did 345 last week so I was pretty excited to go up 10 pounds and still get all my reps you see my legs just want to fire There you go. So these are called kettlebell marches. Pretty much what they're doing is working their obliques because that kettlebell is throwing them over. So they're having. Hey, <laughs> you guys are good. You guys are good. Nico. Nico. It's uh, one of the homeless guys' dogs. <laughs> Chico. Chico. But yeah, so they got heavy kettlebell marches down and back working their obliques. Alright guys, just finished up training. Had a good session. Uh, first time working out with all these guys. They've been in the gym, but we haven't been like just working out together. So today we all came together, helped each other. It was super good. Uh, What's it called? Jalen worked up to like 365 on a box squat, then we worked down. This really works on speed and explosiveness. I'm super big, like I said, on being explosive. I have a football background and wrestling and everything about being explosive. So I, I carry that over to the powerlifting side and I'm just like, I just always 
believe that the, the strength is never weakness. It can help you in all aspects. So I'm trying to help these guys out. They got, uh, you're, you're still in college, right? You're about to go to college? Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, and then you're uh, at Princeton, right? Yeah. He's already in the league, so he's already he's trying to make him better. But yeah, you'll be seeing these guys around. It's not even the first video. But yeah, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll leave uh, their guys' Instagram and YouTube below if they got one. But thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Peace. Peace.